My name is Robert Diaz, and I'm better known as El Rudo. I represent, you know, the fan that lives in the U.S., but still loves Tijuana. I'm an away fan that follows the team at home games. I fell in love with Tijuana soccer since I was a kid. My dad took me to go see Inter de Tijuana, Nacional de Tijuana growing up. In 2007, I found out that Cholos was an upcoming team. I didn't go to the game till they were already promoted into the first division, but I haven't stopped going ever since. They have a fan in me for life. I'm driving to Tijuana and it's, it's easily a three hour drive. It has been longer. You know, we have to stop because my little kids, you know, they get tired. They can only sit in their car seats for so long. But I'm not the only one that does this. I'm one and easily, you know, 11,000 people that do this. I came to the U.S. maybe when I was 11 years old. We started becoming Americanized, but we were still illegal. We didn't have papers to go back to Mexico. I consider myself very fortunate to be able to cross the border. I'm a Mexican-born American, and a lot of people like me can't cross the border. I like to come here to pay my respects. Cesar Lopez, United States Marine Corps. In honor of all the U.S. vets who have served and have been deported. There's people that can't even go to a game, you know, for immigration purposes. And every time Cholos plays in, in anywhere in America, those people go to those games. This is a 12-year-old a club for all intents and purposes. And from 2007 to 2011, was scrapping in the lower leagues and getting up to League MX. A third of the stadium crowd is probably American. You know, I say American, but you know, people that cross the border to watch the game. There is no other team like this in world football. And I don't say that lightly. That's a really kind of dramatic statement to make, but it's a fact. There is no other team that has a home fan base in two countries at the same time. You know, like it or not, it's revolutionary. You know, for a Mexican to go back to Mexico and to be able to come back to America is huge. The fact of the matter is what's going on at the border right now, it might scare some people away. It doesn't scare the Xolo Familia away because we've got something bigger than a border. We've got a family. This is a team that is truly borderless. The first thing I did when I was a resident, a U.S. resident, I joined the Marine Corps to, to give back to this country that had given my family so much. My recruiter told me I was going to play soccer for the Marine Corps, so I jumped in. That's a very proud moment you know, in my life to play for the All Marine team. 9-11 happened and it changed the world, it changed history, and I wasn't ready to go to college anymore. I was ready to go to war. Ah! War messes with your mind and messes with your future. After I left the Marine Corps, I was in a, in a dark area. I didn't know how to deal with my life. I didn't know what was gonna happen to me. So I, I, I did a lot of heavy drinking, heavy drinking just to kind of numb the mind. It changed the rest of my life. I haven't been the same, the same kid that went in is not the same person that's here standing in front of you. Uh, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff, but, uh, but I'm dealing with it. My wife and I, we would visit Tijuana back then. And you can still sense that the city was under, I want to call it a, you know, reconstruction. There's definitely in Tijuana before and after Cholos era. The victims were Mexicans involved in the drug cartels. It was a dangerous place to be, but nothing to do with soccer or football or sports. For, I want to say, two years, I lost a sense of who I was. It goes hand in hand with Cholos, because Cholo team was, you know, being built in 2007. Who would have thought that that person that was going to Iraq, you know, back to back, was a family man with kids? I believe that Cholos has saved my life. It's, it has helped me with my PTSD because it gives me a sense of purpose. Life makes sense to me because Cholos has filled that void. With the growth of the club, I, I started seeing the city clean up its sack. It feels fresh, it feels young again, it feels alive. And I believe it goes hand in hand with what Cholos has done for the city. A long time ago, we came up with the saying that soccer united us, but Cholos made us a family. Every time we know that we're coming to Tijuana, we get so excited. We plan our haircuts, we plan what we're gonna buy, you know, what shirt I'm wearing Saturday and Sunday, because this is a, a way of life. 
mañana todo el día en el estadio. Rudo is a microcosm of the ethos of Club Tijuana. Everybody like like identify with him because it's it's not only just a cholo fan. He's like a regular guy that comes with his family, but he lives in Coachella. I represent you know the fan that lives in the U.S. I have so many friends in L.A. and Santa Cruz, Fresno, Bakersfield that travel you know more than me. I got up at five o'clock in the morning, got out of the house by six, and it's a mission to come. But you know, it's well worth it. From day one that we went to the, you know, the Stadio Caliente where the Cholos play, we, my wife and I, we sensed that it wasn't like any other stadium. We started venturing and taking a grill and taking, you know, our own food, our own drinks, and, and there was people already doing that. And it, and it, and it's part of the culture now. I've been coming to Tijuana since I was a little girl. My mom bought me, you know, I bought my kids and so on. It doesn't matter where you're from, what your skin color is, what your religion is, what language you speak. If you're down to root for the Cholos, there's a place for you here. And I'd be willing to wager there's also a plate of food and a beer waiting for you if you're willing to cheer for the Cholos. You can't see that in any other stadium in Mexico. In Tijuana, you see that American culture. Uh, the game's at 7, I'll be there at noon. Mules have been a, a huge part of Mexican history. And it was Diego Rivera that gave uh, the Hank family their first Cholo Squintle. I believe that's why the Cholo is so near our heart. We, we have adopted the dog, you know, as a fan base, and we, we are in love with the Cholo Squintle. It is who we are. I believe I'm part of the team with my social media. You know, I, I put my heart and soul into it. Rudo, with his page, Los Rudos, he, he, he has like the biggest page from a Cholo fan here in, 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 in Tijuana. I dedicate, you know, a big part of my life to finding out what, what's going on in the club, what's going on with the players, what's happening to the former players. Los Rudos is a wrestling word. It has nothing to, to do with football or solos. It's not all about the game, but it's all everything that surrounds, like the whole sport, the whole the whole club. I have this, you know, this fantasy dream of what if I work for Solos? I try to be the best dad that my kids you know, will ever have. I don't buy the material things, I give them moments. And uh, going to solo games is one of those moments. I love my team, not for now, you know. Of course when the team wins, it's huge. But if the team loses, it's okay, because I'm not here in it for today. I'm here in it for the rest of my life. I don't want my kids to stop going to Mexico. I want them to grow up knowing that Mexico exists, because we, we can't, not cross the border. We have to continue crossing that border.